हेलो एवरीवन होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग फाइन वेलकम बैक टू सबीर कैड आई एम मोहम्मद सबीर योर ट्रेनर इन कैड ऑटोडेस्क द मेकर्स ऑफ ऑटो कैड कम आउट विद अ न्यू रिलीज ऑफ ऑटो कैड एवरी ईयर इन ईच वर्जन दे इंट्रोड्यूस सम कूल न्यू फीचर्स एंड दिस ईयर वी हैव ऑटो कैड 2018 व्हिच इज द बेस्ट ऑटो कैड एवर आई एम श्योर दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर सो एक्साइटेड टू एक्सप्लोर सम ऑफ द कूल न्यू फीचर्स ऑफ दिस वर्जन ऑफ ऑटो कैड If you are ready to spare some time with me I can take you through most of the cool features of this latest release Are you ready let's get started Thanks. 4K resolution support AutoCAD 2018 interface is ideally designed to support 4K resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels in older releases of AutoCAD interface elements such as palettes panels dialog boxes etc won't fit in properly when displayed in high resolution monitors for example this is how the opening screen of AutoCAD 2017 will appear when displayed by a 4K monitor you can see that the interface elements are very small The font sizes in the palettes and dialog boxes will be relatively large. In AutoCAD 2018, this issue is sorted out and every interface element fits properly within the display and you will get the best possible viewing experience. Now, let's see an advantage of working in a high resolution display. When you right click at the graphic performance icon in the status bar and when you click at the graphic performance, here you have a, a smooth lines display. By default this is active and since this is enabled every lines you draw will be displayed as a smooth line by the software but once you disable this and when you draw a line let's see what happens now you can see jaggies or jerky effect on the line it's not displayed as a smooth continuous line now i'll again go back to graphic performance and i'll activate the smooth lines display and the moment you activate that the lines are displayed like a smooth line This present display is a full HD display but when you work on a 4K display even when the smooth line option is disabled the lines will be displayed as smooth lines because there will be ample amount of pixels to display lines as smooth lines this will improve the performance of the software next feature of AutoCAD 2018 is the performance enhancement in this release Autodesk has changed the coding of the software now you can perform display interactions such as a zoom pan and orbit in a more smoother manner in the older releases when you work with complex models the display automatically degrades to a low level representation but here you will get a smooth display interaction this becomes particularly noticeable when you work with complex 3d models this is a complex 3d model when you orbit this model you can see that you can perform a smooth orbit without skipping much frames that is because of the performance enhancement done in AutoCAD 2018 when you perform panning you can feel smooth display interactions while you perform zooming the same smooth display interaction can be experienced next we will see some interface enhancements in AutoCAD 2018 we have resizable dialog boxes in the older releases of AutoCAD not all dialog boxes are resizable For example, when you click on drafting settings by right clicking at the O snap button and you will get this dialog box here in order to get the rest of the tabs you have to click on this arrow. But when you try to resize this dialog box it was not possible. Let's see the same dialog box in AutoCAD 2018. I'll just right click at the O snap button. You have the same arrows in the drafting settings, but when you take the cursor at the corners of this dialog box, you can see that you can resize it. and you'll be able to see all tabs at a stretch so without using those arrows you'll be able to see the entire content of the dialog box so that can be treated as a cool enhancement another interface enhancement is the addition of layer option in the quick access toolbar the layer command is one of the most frequently accessed command in autocad and the layer related options are available in the layer panel which is grouped under the home tab So suppose if you are in some other tab for example suppose if you try to insert some object and if you want to come back to the layer related options you have to click on the home tab then only you will be able to access those options 
So whenever you want to access layers, you have to click on the home tab and this becomes practically inconvenient. But with the addition of a layer option in the quick access toolbar, this issue is rectified. So when you click on this arrow at the quick access toolbar, we have a layer option here. Just click on that and you will see the layer related options permanently available at the quick access toolbar so that each and every time you don't have to click on the home tab to access the layers. Another feature of AutoCAD 2018 is enhanced PDF import. Autodesk has introduced the feature to import a PDF file to AutoCAD drawing in 2017 version. Now this drawing file is currently opened in AutoCAD 2017 version and I'm going to change the style of one of these texts. So I'll click on annotate tab and I'll give style command. So just click over here to get it. Now I'll create a new style and I'll call it as my style. And here I'm going to define a new font for this my style. As you know, in AutoCAD, there are two types of fonts. One is true type font and this font starts with the letter T here and we have another type of font. I'm going to choose this particular shape file as the font file. The font files with the extension of SHX are called shape files and these fonts will be just single line text. So I'll just apply it. Now I have defined a new style. Now I'll change the style of this particular text. So I'll select it and I'll press Ctrl 1 to get the properties palette and I'll change the style of that text from standard to my style. And you can see that it is a single line text. Next, I'm going to take a PDF out of this particular drawing. So I'll go to application button, then I'll go to print and I'll take a plot of it. In order to print an AutoCAD file to PDF, you have to choose this particular printer that is AutoCAD PDF, high quality. Then I'll choose a paper size, which is A4. Then I'll choose the area to be plotted using a standard window like this. Now I'll center the plot, take a preview of it and I'll give OK and houseplan.model is the PDF file name. Okay, next let's open a new file. Then I'm going to import this PDF file onto this blank file. Now I'll go to application button, then I'll click on import. You can see a PDF option over here. Just give an enter. Then I'll take houseplanmodel.pdf. Give OK. PDF file is imported as a drawing file. The software automatically converts objects in PDF files as lines, arcs and circles. But what about the text? When you take the cursor onto this text, you can see that it is a multi-line text. But what about this text? When you take the cursor over here, you can see that it's a polyline. That means imported texts which are created using shape files will be treated as polylines in 2017 version. Now let's do the same activity in 2018. So I'll go to application button, import, PDF, give an enter, then I'll choose the file, give open and OK. Now you have got the file converted as a drawing file. In the insert tab, we have an option called recognize SHX text. Using this option, any text which is written using the shape file can be recognized and can be converted as multi-line text. So just click on this option and you can add the shape file with which you have actually written that text. That was aehalf.shx, just give open and you have added it and give OK. Now you can select the text and give enter. We have got a message that one text object created and one font used that is aehalf and one of one group of selected geometry is converted as a text. And now when you just click on this, you can see that it is a multi-line text. It is no longer a polyline. Hence, the text written using shapefile can be automatically converted from polylines to multi-line text. Next important enhancement in AutoCAD 2018 is the introduction of the new file format. Now you can save your drawing file in AutoCAD 2018 format. In every three year, Autodesk introduces a new file format. But this time, it took almost four years to introduce a new format. Till now, we were saving the drawing file in AutoCAD 2013 format. But now we can save it in 2018 format. Let's see why Autodesk changes formats. In the new file format, drawing files will open quickly and we can work more efficiently. Autodesk anticipate any changes that are going to take place in the future releases and they put a foundation in the latest release to accommodate these changes. 
Autodesk also solves the issues that might have occurred in the older releases of the software. Hence, each new file format will be more refined and a stable one when you compare it with the previous formats. The next interesting feature of AutoCAD 2018 is off-screen selection. In the older releases of AutoCAD, the software selects only those objects which are in the current view when you perform zoom or pan while you select. For example, I'll erase certain objects from this drawing. Now I'll pick my first corner of the window here, then I'll zoom in and I'll perform a bit of panning and I'll pick my opposite corner here. Now you can see that only those objects in the current view will get selected. Just make a pick to define the opposite corner point and zoom out. Now only these objects got selected. I have actually defined my first corner of the window over here. But these objects are discarded because when I have fixed my opposite corner point, those objects were outside the screen. Let's perform the same activity in 2018. I'll give erase command and I'll pick my first corner here, then I'll zoom in and I'll perform a bit of panning too to define the opposite corner point here. And when I zoom out, you can see that even those objects which were outside the screen while I have defined the opposite corner point got selected. This feature is really useful when you work with large drawings. Another interesting feature of AutoCAD 2018 is that once you subscribe to the software, you will get the mobile app of AutoCAD, AutoCAD 360 for free. And if you want to use that mobile app, you have to first visit the site client.autocad360.com. Then here you have to click on the first time user and register to get a user ID and password. Then you can load AutoCAD, then you can just click on the sign in option over here. Then click on sign in to Autodesk account. Once you sign in with your user ID, which is your email ID and the password, you will get access to 25 GB cloud storage space. And that space is called 8360 drive. And how do you use that drive? You can save your AutoCAD drawing files directly to those drives. For that, you have to just click on application button and save as you can just click on drawing to the cloud. And you'll be asked to give a file name. I'll give a file name. Your file name will be the drawing file name and click on save. And that drawing is saved to A360 drive. And once you click on this online options over here, you will get the options dialog box. In this dialog box, there is an online tab. When you click on A360 over here, you'll be directly taken to your A360 drive. And you can see your drawing here. Once this drawing is saved to A360 drive, uh, that particular file can be opened using your AutoCAD 360 mobile app. This app is available for Android as well as for iOS devices. Using this app, you will be able to create, edit, save and share two-dimensional drawings and visualize 3D models. Once you load this app, you have to log in with your Autodesk user ID and password. Then you can see the contents of your A360 drive. Now I have opened a 3D model of a house which was saved to the cloud from within AutoCAD. And once it is opened, you can perform all view related operations such as a zoom, pan, orbit, etc. simply by touching the screen. Here you can see the same model opened in an iPad and you can perform all display related navigations with the power of touch. Hence, once you save your drawings to the cloud, you can take your project along with you wherever you go in your mobile computing devices, which will make you more productive. So that's all about some of the cool new features of the latest and the best version of AutoCAD. Hope this video has given you some clear insight on this topic. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this tutorial if you liked it. Please do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos related with AutoCAD 2D and 3D. Until we meet again in the next tutorial with another interesting topic, bye for now. Thanks for your patience and time and peace be upon you all.